All right, everyone, we are hauling some uh, lawnmowing equipment. Ooh, look at that pretty thing. Wow, that's impressive. Got a lot of action on the road today. So basically, I have a honeydew list and I need to mow the lawn. Let's get to it. Pulling behind, is this a 6000 series? Not sure. Ooh, was going to pass, but that would have been a bad call right there. Gonna have to wait a little while. Ooh, wow, you don't see many of them Alice Chalmers around. Wow, I'm like stopped in the middle of the road looking at it. Such a rubber neck. All right, I think I can pass now. There we go. Wow, what a nice. Oh, yep. Yeah. It's a 60 30. Oh, 60 30 there. So basically, I want to mow our lawn because, uh, it's going to be winter here real soon and I don't want the snow drifting and everything when you have tall grass it just aids in the snow drifting which is not a huge ordeal I mean we have uh, tractors and everything to uh, push the snow out of place but I don't want it uh, basically I don't want to have to do more work than I already have and and the wifey, she wants it nice and mowed. I mean, I haven't mowed since I took over this place. I mean, yeah, it's a little overdue. Let's just say that. So I'm gonna get back. Uh, first, I have to fill a few loads for our contract. So we'll do that quickly. Ooh, we have another tractor coming down here. Huh what that is. I can't even make out what it is. Some tractor coming down here. So I'm gonna get this to the side. Then I need to start up the truck, get it warmed up and everything so I could take a few loads to fill our contract. Unload this. Best part is, is I plan on using some of my old Oh yeah, that is a, uh, what is that, a 70 series case? I believe so. I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to unload this, and I'm, I think I'll be able to use some of my uh, Jim's brother's equipment here. So I got, you know, I don't even know which ones I want to use. I mean, I got just so many, so many old that I mean this is gonna be the best mowing experience ever because I get to mow with this old equipment I mean who want doesn't want to do that especially the first time around and I got this uh, 620 yeah 620 so got the mower on the back there so I am set I am going to be tinkering around with my old classics so, if you didn't know, we got this Kenworth. It's uh, green and white with a little bit of gold ink uh, stripping there. So, looks pretty good. So, we got it on our old Wilson trailer that we got fixed up. We got a new tarp on it and everything. So, I'm going to get this started up. Starts up like a dream. I do need to get some cattle in my feedlot here, so I was waiting for these, uh, my Holsteins to have some, basically, calves, and I was gonna fatten them up over here, but, uh, it seems like it's taking longer. Maybe I'm not the best dairyman, I don't know, but, yeah, start pushing out some, uh, babies, okay? We need more baby making around here. It's not enough. 
I don't know why my manure pile piled up like that. That's kind of odd, but oh well. Alright, so we will get this. So we got a few loads of uh, soybeans we need to sell. Alright, so we're filling her up there. Oh, already done. Alright, so we'll get this headed down now. I don't know what it is with this old KW, but man, I just love this thing. Just so easy to drive. Maybe I can even get that old uh, Model A started. That would be kind of fun. Mowing with that. Don't know if I have enough time to tinker it to running, but uh, maybe it's a winter project. You know, it wouldn't be a bad thing. Is this guy lost? I mean, he's coming around again. Hey, you're kind of taking up the whole road there. Can you kind of give me some of the road, please? We're taking the back roads to the elevator here. not too far but means we could take these back roads it's a lot uh, less of a distance to go than the hard path but good thing the roads finally dried up we can take these roads now here we go we're gonna jump in GSI uh, elevator here just, uh, I'm not a super fan of this elevator because it is like the hardest thing to get in and out of. Very difficult. Alright. Alright, we'll leave them to start dumping. I am going to run over here real quick. I'm gonna grab a donut. Why do they have to fence this off here? Come on. Can't go drive by Dunkin' Donuts and not get a donut. Really surprised. I mean, you would think you would see a uh, police car in the parking lot somewhere. Ooh, look at that pretty thing. I mean, this is a rare moment. No police car in this parking lot and no police car in that parking lot across the street. Don't see that every day. Alright, we've got two jelly donuts. We are ready to go. I'm sure the elevator isn't happy with us because we kind of left our truck, but there's like no one in line, so they can get over it. Alright, we'll start driving this beautiful thing back home. Ooh. Man. I'm going to have to buff that out later on. This is why I do not like this elevator, because this turn is not the easiest to make. What the heck do we have in front of us now? Got an old John Deere disc. Probably shouldn't be passing. Ooh, a Minneapolis Moline. Good old tractor. It's kind of cool. I mean, like, every single one of the tractors out today is old. You just don't see that. Did anybody notice that truck was on its side back there? I, I don't know why. What do we have in front of us here? Oh, we got a manure. Oh, is that a two by two? Oh, 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 I need to stop rubbernecking. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Wow. And this is definitely a scenic drive today out. 
kind of cool. We got to see some rare tractors. Oh, what? Your side of the road, buddy. Your side of the road. Come on, give me a little bit of space. Oh, wow. Must have been daydreaming driving his old 70 series case. I can see how that can happen. I mean, them old things, they run pretty good. So we got our loads of soybeans brought to the elevator. So I'm going to park this truck. And uh, now I need to figure out which uh, of my classics I'm going to mow with. So... We got this uh, Turbo International 1256. We'd have to unhook it from the trailer. What else do we got in here? All right, so we got this McCormick Deering. I don't think we could really use this because it doesn't have a three-point hitch, so that is out of question. We can use our 4020. And our uh, 806 Farmo, but I really don't want to use a tractor with a loader on the front just so I can see better. We got the 80 series here, it doesn't have a three point hitch. Hmm. So we also got the 620. I know I, I just got a lot of old classics. So it already has a mower on it. So I just I just want to make sure. So I grease this all up. It's all ready to go. So I, I just want to test this uh, mower out. So I'm going to use it a little bit just to see how it is. It's always fun using that old equipment. I mean, who does want to do that? So we got this uh, bulldozer here. No, we can't use that. I know, I'm just joking, but uh, we might have to move it out of the way. It's kind of in the middle of the path of the mower. So we do got this old, uh, this 8, or this Ford 8 uh, in here, and a Farmall Super, Super M. So I'm going to use that. Of course, we can use the 4440, but, I mean, it, it already gets a lot of love. I don't really want to just use that all the time, so I think I'm going to use my old, uh, my dad's uh, old uh, starter tractor, basically, uh, this International. So it does have a three-point hitch, maybe a two-point hitch. Not for sure if this is going to work or not. We're going to test it out, though. Start this tractor up and get it out of the way. Man, I really like this old uh, 4440. I mean, this thing is a classic. Probably don't get to use it enough. I forgot to tell you, so I did get a riding lawnmower, so my wife wanted something easy to basically be able to drive around, uh, something that picked up the clippings for around close to the house, so that way uh, Buck doesn't have to get all clippings all over his fur and all that stuff. That reminds me, I forgot to feed the buckaroo. Sorry, Buck. I know. It'll be a good lawnmower for her, so I also got another three-point hitched one. Alright, so I'm going to park this out of the way. Out of the nice, overgrown grasses way, I guess, at least. that got it unloaded so now the question is will these old classics start probably need a can of ether sprayed a little ether in this thing huh we're lucky there yeah so now the question will this thing hook up back it up here Come on, come on. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. 
Holy cow, that thing looks way too big for that. But, it's gonna have to do. So, it's just, even though it looks way too big, it's it still will work. These old things are mostly made all of iron. There ain't no uh, cheap plastic over here, so it should be able to hold it down in the front. Now, this thing is going to look a little bit silly on the other one. Oh, yeah. Man, I am just... All these tractors are starting. A little bit of ether. They're always starting. Now we got to back this up here. Look at that. Got it started. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use this 8-in. Uh, primarily because I need to readjust the three-point here. Because if you watch, you put it down. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work when I'm mowing. So... It's a little bit out of sync, so I'll have to do that another day. It's unfortunate. I was looking forward to using this old uh, board, but uh, it will have to s stay over here for now because otherwise I'm just going to be hitting the dirt the whole time. So now the question. I got to get over here and uh, see if my uh, 620 will run. Had it running the other day. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Yep, I'm gonna have to shoot it with some ether. Where is my ether? Do I have ether over here? There we go. Alright. Spray a little bit in there. Oh yeah, there we go, 620 is up and running. So we got the, the deer, and we got the, the old uh, Super M. Hmm. Got all the old parts running today. Alright, so we are mowing around here. Did a little bit off screen. I just wanted to uh, test these mowers out. Uh, we got a lot of mowing to do. You can see this thing is a probably a little bit underpowered for this, but uh, it's going alright. I mean, just think, this is, this is some old horsepower here. So... You're not gonna, it's not just gonna keep on ticking at, uh, what is this, like, I think a 60 horse back in the day? I, I don't know exactly. I'm gonna have to research it, but, uh, these things, uh, weren't high horsepower and were geared lower back in the day. Look, I mean, we really needed to mow. We needed to mow really bad around our place. We got a lot of... Basically, if it snowed and drifted, we would be... Oh, what are we caught on? It's a little bit bumpy around here, so... It's always most important to mow... Oh, hello. Man. They are... Moving around that grinder mixer. I am really catching on that uh, fence there. I'm trying to get as close as possible, but you know, some road uh, candy is basically disturbing me here. Man, I'm catching again over here. I'm horrible at this. So, I. Uh, 
it's always most important to basically uh, mow what your neighbor sees first and then what your wife wants you to do next and then that is the order I like to go in and most likely I just want to mow this primarily because I don't want it uh, being a huge uh, uh, drift for this road here because if it was uh, grass on both sides, if it drifted, if the wind blew just right when it snowed, it would uh, cause some issues. And the tractor coming over. Oh, that's that old Alice Chalmers. He must be coming back and filling up his little spreader there. Putting some late fall fertilizer down. A mow on this side too gonna have to get the weed eater out and uh, mow around our fence post. That is never a fun experience, but uh, well worth it, at least once a year. Then you don't have all the tumbleweeds blowing into your fence. It's one of the worst jobs ever, having to pick tumbleweeds out of your fence. It's not a fun experience. Seen them tumbleweeds blow into a fence almost to the point where the cattle can just walk right over it. Not getting the closest. We might take our uh, wife's uh, little mower out. Got a little gap there. Now mow a little bit closer. Good thing about that, you can just uh, keep the clippings in the back and uh, just give it right to the cattle. You know, uh, they like eating that. Uh, fresh uh, green grass pretty good I'm really catching on that fence this, this old tractors are so narrow and you just don't think that old, old uh, just that two blade uh, mower it isn't that wide back there it really isn't that wide when you think about it but definitely uh, scratching up that uh, the paint on it, that's for sure. Uh, like, I probably should have got another cutting of grass off of this field here. Kind of wasted that. See, uh, it's kind of odd there's some weeds growing in our grass, so we'll probably might have to uh, spray it down. Don't think I'm going to have to replant it. And I should have got probably a bat wing because I got a ton of uh, lawn around this place to mow. I mean, I don't, this is not a small area to mow. And to be honest, I really like mowing, especially in these old tractors like this. It's almost relaxing. It's not really relaxing when it's, you know, the humidity's 100 and it's 100 degrees out there. That's not when it's relaxing. But when it's a nice summer day, mowing on a tractor, it's just, uh, it's very relaxing. It's like stress-free. Don't really have to think about it too much. Kind of a nice thing to do, I think. I enjoy it anyways. I don't know if you guys enjoy mowing or not. I got stuck on my uh, big old uh, big mound there. Probably have to weed eat that. I did bring the 6020 out and I was just mowing a little bit. Only thing bad about that, it doesn't really mulch the grass very well. I am going to run it a little bit. Just for the fun of it. I mean, uh, that's why I got it out. Might not use it other than just enjoying, you know, the old smoke, the old putt putt of the tractor. Yes, definitely should have got a bat wing. I got way too much lawn to mow, but the, the one thing I didn't get a bat wing for is because I really just wanted a use for this this old classic tractors. I mean, you're not going to find a use for these like every day, so I just wanted to uh, 
basically utilize them. Why not? I mean, I'm just sitting there. Probably I'm not gonna basically plow my fields with a two bottom plow. So why not just use these old things to uh, mow around? So as you see, we're making a very small dent in our uh, basically our humongous grass field we call a lawn. Uh, yeah, it takes a little while to mow all this uh, ground here. But uh, getting it mowed, I mean, I got, I mean, I don't know who put all these trees down, but whoever did, I mean, come on. Who wants to mow around all these trees? Man. Whoever planted all these trees, I really have to get at him. Just, that is way too many trees to put down on a lawn. And we got these young little saplings right here, too. I mean, holy cow, I mean, who wants to mow around this stuff? All around our brand new bulldozer there too. Just love that sound of that sickle there. Definitely don't want to accidentally clip somebody or butt for that reason. This sickle bar. Or maybe a fence post. You'll probably uh, do a little bit of damage to it. Nice little sickle bar. The good thing is this is like right over to the side. Nice and easy to see. Nice and easy to run. Very convenient. Very easy. And I get to run my putt-putt. Pretty fun running this old Put, put. Man, I sure wish they made old John Deere's that sound like this still. Only thing bad about this is you have to kind of go over and around the side. So I just kind of keep going back and forth like that. Uh, that way I don't have to uh, drive down on the grass. And kind of when it flips up a little bit, it just kind of stops cutting. Only discom or uh, inconvenience with this thing, but other than that, uh, per pretty nice. And you definitely don't want to hit this thing with a gopher hole or something like that, because uh, you probably get it all clogged up, and it's not going to be very easy. Gun clog. All right. Well, it is time to start running our uh, mower around the farmyard here. Use this old John Deere I picked up nice for my uh, wife here. I'm not sure the model of this John Deere. Even got a digital speedometer on this thing. Uh, it has a uh, its own pickup here. So basically you can keep your clippings in there, it has hydraulic steering, so pretty fancy model. I don't know if Buck's going to like my, uh, he likes hiding in the grass and attacking me, so not for sure if Buck's going to like me mowing this or not, but I'm sure once it comes to, once it comes to the snow season that he's going to like this all gone and not have to sit in the drifts. This thing is very convenient mowing around here. Go at a fast click, that's for sure. Basically, I need to mow this around to get back into my wife's good graces because, uh, couldn't get her the rancher she wanted. That was a fail. 
Got that side of the yard done, so now we gotta go around this side here quickly. But uh, this was actually a pretty fun day of just mowing around, so a pretty relaxing day. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here with Buck in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.